Hello and what's up, YouTube? Brother One G here, and nobody, yeehaw! Playing, I mean, uh, not really playing, showing that. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some editing there. Welcome back to Minecraft on Tech. Um, for those of you who are PC gamers, Steam Summer Sale has begun! Yeah! <laughs> Ow! Shut up, you jerk! What the heck, man? What the heck? I'm on fire! I can't see! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Oh no, my horse is dying! I will kill you for that! Hey, back. When did I hit you like that? Here, horsey, eat some meat. Oh, dude. I will get you back for that. I swear I will. But anyway, guys. The um, Steam Summer Sale is on 30 to 80 percent off indie games and triple A games. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, Yeehaw, that's quite a deal right there! And indeed, it is because some of the games that I want are on sale. Bioshock Infinite is only 30 bucks right now. Um, I think this honored is like 10 bucks right now. Borderland 2 is on sale today. Yeah, uh, for like 20 bucks, but I think it might be on sale tomorrow for 10 bucks if p enough people vote for that to happen. And there's other games out there as well. Indie games. May want to explain the voting system. Screw that, alright? Gotcha! Oh, I get trick shot! Yeah! You can't get hit back for pay, right? Ow, ow, I'm killing myself for the cactus here. Bro. <laughs> anyway, guys, you might be wondering, like, looking at those games, want to get them, but you realize your PC can't even run half of them at 1080p in some decent um, settings. So that's why I went to the trouble of coming up with a list for a $500 machine that's going to play all your games at 1080p and get some 30 to 60 frames per second at mid to mid high settings, depending on when your games are released and who made it. And yes, it can play Crisis. Yeehaw! But don't expect anything amazing. But anyway, can it can play Crisis 2. It can play Crisis 3 if you put everything down to low. Remember, in Crisis, low is incredibly high for every other game. And Ultra is like completely out of every other game's leads. So yeah, guys, starting off with the case. For this case, I went with an NZXT um, Source 200 case. It's a small um, ATX case that can also do micro ATX. And for like 40 bucks, it has a window. It's nothing special, but at least it has a window to show off your hard work from when you make your system. Um, so yeah, uh, for motherboard. Uh, nobody. Motherboard. It's a gigabit, um, something something motherboard. <laughs> I don't know the exact model number. But basically it's an AMD motherboard. It uses an FM2 socket, so it's for, um, AMD's A, um, A-series, um, processors. Specifically the Trinity and, um, Richland processors. That's the 5000 and the 6000 series. Um... This one I got does support, it's a micro ATX motherboard, so it's very limited. Only one graphic card and two slots for RAM, but it does support the native graphics on um, AMD, so you can use hybrid crossfire. Fire is, I meant nobody. Yes, but we really want to explain it anyway. Alright, so basically what hybrid crossfire is, which is absolute genius, is that you can actually, with AMD um, processors and graphics cards, you can actually use the um, integrated graphic card on the processor itself, as well as a dedicated graphic card and like crossfire configuration. It's not much in performance, but it is a little something something to get you like an extra five, maybe six frames per second. So, yeah. By the way, this is a full AMD system. You're not going to get Intel NVIDIA for this low. Sorry, guys. But, yeehaw! Aw, oh, crap, I shot my own horse. He's dying. No, horse, don't die on me. <laughs> Don't die so, me! So, bro. <laughs> Dang it! Oh my gosh, horse lift! You must How lift! How do you even do these things? <laughs> I don't know! Horse, you gotta break the crops! Huh? Why are the crops breaking? He needs to walk into that well again. <laughs> Shut up! Okay, guys, um... Four processors. Um, I went with the AMD A8 5000 Series K. So this is the overlock processor. It costs like a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, nobody. You should be missing the pricing of these things. Gosh darn it. The case is like forty. The motherboard is forty, and the processor is a hundred bucks. It's an A8 quad core processor. Clocked that thing three point two gigahertz. Um, overclockable. So yeah, all that good stuff. Um. There we go, horsey. He's back to full health. 
Uh, yeah. And it does have a its own built in APU. I think it's like a 7000. Oh my god! Why? No one knows he's mad! Nobody's mad! Oh gosh, my horse is on fire! Oh god, the horse, get to the water quickly! Oh man! <laughs> I must avenge Epona. Get over here. I spawned you another horse. He's in the water. She. W no one will ever replace Epona. <laughs> Just do it, oh my. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Gotcha. <laughs> oh crap. Horsey, quick. Go backwards. Yo, run off the wild. Whoa, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't completely redo this video. This is not over. <laughs> okay, guys. Moving on to the graphics card. I went with the AMD um, 707090. One gigabyte. Um, it'll be good to play all your games at so like 1080p. Um, for like mid to mid high settings. Get you that 60 frame per second. And it's quite low power, only uses 200 watts, so it's good if you're on like a, you know, you don't want your monthly bill exceeding like a thousand per month in electricity. Quite possible with a gaming computer, quite possible. Um, so yeah. This one is you on by Sapphire. $125. Yeah, it's $125, thank you nobody, for reading the sheet. It's a Sapphire one as well, so it does come overclocked, and this motherboard will support, um, support an overclock processor. I'm not sure how much of an overclocking is, but Sapphire is quite a reliable name in the AMD franchise. However, if you want to get something better, go with an F, I mean an XFS um, one. But other than that, yeah, this is all staying within budget. For the RAM, I went with 8GB of Team Elite. This is, um, this isn't the fastest RAM, it's DDR3 and about 1330 MHz. I'm not sure how overclockable this is. But it's like nice cheap old RAM to get the job done. Help out with that um, integrated graphics. Um, if you want to get something better, you can always go with the Corsair or the Kingston. That might be a lot better for you. But once again, those are more expensive. And this one's only like fifty-five bucks, I think. Is it? Fifty-eight and shipping is seven dollars. Yeah, it's fifty-eight bucks and shipping is seven dollars. I try to get like everything with free shipping. Very hard to do. Um, moving on. To the like um, the power supply, I went with a Cooler Master 550 watt power supply. This be enough to like uh, get your machine running. Don't expect too much overclocking and well anything, because it's gonna provide enough power for you like your graphics, your motherboard, your RAM, your um, hard drives, and your uh, um, fans and whatnot. So basically, it's more than enough to get your system running. But don't try to overclock it. If you want to overclock it, you might want to get like a Cooler Master 550 watt or anything 550 watt and go for that 80 plus um, bronze. That's like a safety guarantee to make sure your power supply doesn't go crazy and like explode your machine when you cause it to go too crazy trying to play Crisis at max and you overclock the max out of it. Uh, yeah. And I think that's about everything on the list, is it? Anything I'm missing? Oh right, oh, hard drive. So yeah, for hard drive, I went with a Circuit Barracuda 1 terabyte hard drive that's spinning at 74 RPM. 70 and it's also $70 and free shipping. Yeah, $70 free shipping. And that's like 74 RPMs, meaning it's going to um, read and write incredibly fast. So it's not going to be as fast as an SSD, but it will get the job done with like your loading screens and starting up your games and plus if you're using Windows 8 remember you get like a 18 to 22 percent boost because of how window how light Windows 8 is while still remaining a quite powerful um, you're feeding it too much it's done growing okay it's at max growth well let me on right click because no you have to take the hay on. battle on I mean you gotta take the hay out of your hand and right click it Ay, ay, ay. Now keep doing that until it breaks. And I think that's everything on the list, not including the OS. And if you want the Windows 8 or Windows 7, they're about 100 bucks. And this is all based on new egg for the month of July 2013. Now, if you want monitors and other accessories, for monitor, I suggest going with the ViewSonic. It's a something-something monitor, but it's basically a 1080p monitor IPS for good viewing angles. 
And I know ViewSonic is a very good brand, but slightly washed out in terms of looks. You want something better? Go with the Asus, or maybe even a nice, um... Yeah, go with the Asus. <laughs> Um, as for keyboard, I went with the TTE Sports Knuckler. It's a nice $40, I think it is. $40 mechanical keyboard, Cherry Max Red, I think. Comes with backlighting, a uh, hand rest. Um, not sure about shipping on that. Of course, you know move. Oh, you need a saddle to control his movements. I miss Epona. <laughs> uh, for a mouse, I went with a uh, Gigabit. Um, mouse, I forget the model number. Um, nobody, what's the model number? The model number is TTE Sport. And oh, for the um, mouse. Uh, gigabyte GM Force. So yeah, Gigabyte for GM Force. I said keyboard. No, not keyboard. I already did the keyboard. I'm gonna have to redo the video anyway. <laughs> it's too wild and crazy. Uh, we'll probably do it in the studio where it'd be much more serious compared to this right now, Madness. <laughs> this could be the blooper reel. Ay, ay, There you go, saddle. The saddle I'm using now won't work for some reason. Huh? What saddle? What, where did you get a saddle from? Uh, yeah. So basically that's a whole entire configuration. I mean, all together is like some 800 bucks, but if you're just going for the machine itself, it's 509 And that's for the month of July 2013. So yeah, good machine, just in time for like the Steam Summer Sale. So if you can order all those parts and get them within a week, probably take longer than that, who knows. Um, you'd probably yeah, be able to enjoy the Steam Summer Sale. The sale. Huh? If they did that, then they wouldn't have any money left for the sale. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe they have enough, alright? Anyway, you do know we have to, like, redo this entire episode due to the fact that this makes no sense whatsoever. I blame you. Alice for horse! Dang it! Kill the horse again! Help! Oh, sweet Charles Jesus! Oh, crap! I got myself trapped! No! I'm probably in the head, you see, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rest in peace, Epona. <laughs> oh, killed my horse! You killed nobody. <laughs> nobody deserved to die. Anyway, guys, if you like this quite... Si <laughs> if you like this murder amount of blow crap, please be sure to like and favorite. We're gonna redo this over and do it better and tie the studio this time. Don't tell them that. Man, didn't believe this, this was all part of, part of the plan. <laughs> Please be sure to like and fave. And also subscribe to support the series and the channel. I'm Brother One G, and I am signing out. Say bye, nobody. Rodney, Rodney, wanna Junior? God, darn it.